All right, guys, we're back for another Dokkan Battle video. And I'm going to look at another one of these posts over here on the Reddit. And I get tagged in a lot of different things like this since I started making videos on these. Um, obviously, you know, in January, when Dokkan is sort of in its dead time before, like, the anniversary stuff really rolls in. So, like, I did a lot of these. I've got a bunch of these bookmarked, and I'll, I'll take a look at them, you know, when things uh, slow down a little bit. But this one, you know, a Universal Survival Saga... Because right now it seems like the six year anniversary is primarily built uh, pretty much completely around the reps of Universe 7, right? Like the whole theme of the anniversary is the bonds of Universe 7. So because of that, like I don't really think we're going to see a lot of other characters of the other universes. Something like Anna Raza or something like that, right? Just characters I don't expect to see uh, coming during the six year anniversary. So, you know, in the future... Uh, I'm sure we could start getting these characters because the other thing too is I don't really expect to see a lot of Turner of Power stuff probably uh, anytime soon uh, after the six year anniversary ends because now it's like just like the Majin Buu saga we've done a lot of Turner of Power stuff in a short amount of time so they probably will move away from it for a while but then again I did say that about Buu saga and then they did give us the prime battle uh, LR Fat Buu and Bobbity I mean that that's, that is an LR and they are pretty good so. But, uh, you know, besides, like, a free-to-play LR, I'm sure we won't get, like, a main Dokkan Fest or something like that for quite a while. So, this post was made by Kuro88 right here. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at a huge thing of possible uh, turn of power units. So, a bunch of these could awaken. Uh, now, if we're just thinking of in terms of the six-year anniversary, like, I'm recording this, you know, basically in between parts one and two. Uh, I don't know about this Ultimate Gohan. I mean... They very easily could give them, like, two Awakenings and an easy A or something like that. You know, the 17 and 18 can easily get Dokkan Awakenings as well. You know, currently 17 and 18 don't have an, a new standalone card uh, during the six-year anniversary. So, you know, giving them one could be good. Again, I, I would say the Universe 6 Namekian cards right here, uh, Urine, and then uh, the this free-to-play hit right here. Probably not going to see anything about them in the six-year anniversary, but certainly in the future they could, you know, get their... Um, uh, Dokkan Awakenings and then potential Easy A's and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, like another Angel Golden Freeze would be fine. We definitely don't need this, but I mean, as he says right here, good for players who don't have the Dokkan Fest version, right? Um, an Easy area for the Universe 6 Saiyans definitely could happen. Uh, at some point, we'll probably get an actually good, uh, you know, like LR or Dokkan Fest hit. Uh, we could get an LR Kefla as well. So, like, there easily could be a celebration based around that. And then, yeah, the Universe 6, you know, these couple of Saiyans right here, these free-to-play Universe 6 Saiyans easily could get um, an easy at that point. Uh, now, this Super Saiyan 2 Kefla needs an easy as well. Currently, the base Kefla that transforms and stuff is pretty good. But we do need a uh, Super Saiyan Kefla and a Super Saiyan 2 Kefla. Super Saiyan 2 Kefla, at the very least, for now, again, you could just easy a her, and then we'd be good there. Um... Okay, so this God Goku right here, he uh easy he awakens from the uh the int UI Goku medals. So when that this God Goku gets his easy A, there's another Goku that should also get an easy A. Uh actually how many is is it is it just two uh, let me actually pull I'm gonna pull up his medal real fast. I think there's the future trunks arc blue Goku. AGL God Goku. And actually, there is one... Is there one more unit that awakens from this? Okay, so of course the LRs. Oh, the STR God Goku. Right, right. STR God Goku also Dokkan awakens with these medals. So, yeah, when we get an EZA, like, these three right here would EZA at the same time. Now, this guy's EZA is probably still a long ways off, right? The Int UI Goku. But we have seen they gave EZAs to uh, Dispo and God Topo, who awakened from the Evolution Blue Vegeta Dokkan medals. So, you know, they easily could do an EZA for these three right here um, without EZing Int UI Goku first, right? Uh, the Kid Trunks, uh, Kid Goten, and Marin card certainly could get something as well. Okay, so uh, an LR Roshi, right? So this is one of these things where... Um, the LR, uh, Roshi, we are going to get one of these during the sixth anniversary and looks like Master Roshi, like full power, max power is what the actual LR is going to be. Um, and then Roshi as a TUR does the Bancoco Bickery show, which is that, uh, what, what is the, the dub translation? They use the lightning flash surprise attack, I believe. Um, I'll have to ask Goresh if that's like how good of a translation that is, but 
we actually could still use a Roshi from the turn of power that does him a Fuba. Because currently there is not one of those. So that would be fine, right? Um, if we would get another Roshi from the turn of power with the Mafuba. Uh, okay, so then we move on to... Here we have, yeah, Dr. Pepperoni Pants. And then the robots. I mean, that could transform into Anna Raza. The thing about Anna Raza is he, they definitely need to do him. Only because Anna Raza is a giant category character, which we so badly need. So I would like to see Anna Raza show up at some point. Uh, then we also over here have... Okay, so everyone has been asking for this. So a God Goku slash hit. It, it is hard to determine... I think what, like, links and categories this unit would have. There's also multiple different ways they could do this. This could be an LR. It could be an exchange unit. There's several different ways they could sort of do this God Goku slash hit unit uh, from that episode where they're fighting Dispo. But I think that would be really, really cool if they did that. They brought this character in. I think this would make... Actually, I think this would make a great, like, random legendary summon LR. So, like, think about, like... I don't know, last April, right? We had Blue Cow and Goku, and then they just sort of randomly dropped, like, LR, Vegeta, and Nappa or something like that. Or, like, you know, we had um, Angel, Golden Freeze, and they just dropped, like, LR, Turles, like, out of nowhere. Like, one of those sort of, like, random drops, I think would be a good idea of how they could do Saiyan, like, you know, Super Saiyan God Goku, and then uh, hit as a uh, legendary summon unit. All right, so, finally, yes, yes, yes. I think a lot of people have been saying LR God Topo. What I think is way more likely than an LR God Topo is a Dokkan Fest transforming Topo. I, I do think that is something that we are very likely to see and I think could be very good. Because a transforming Topo linked up with the, the EZA God Topo would probably be pretty insane. So that would be really, really cool to see. And then, yeah, we could get, like, Dispo, there's two versions of Dispo, right? There's base Dispo, and then there's this super hyper-speed, Godspeed mode thing that he does. Um, you easily could have um, just, like, a normal Dispo. That's a really good unit, right? Could be very, very good. Uh, and, yeah, he could possibly transform into the super speed mode. That would be fine as well. Uh, we actually have a lot here. Okay, so, here, let me actually lower the zoom a bit, because I want to see this. Okay, so, new tournament power game mode. Can replace World Tournament or exists on its own? Uh, yeah, dude. Repl anything replacing World Tournament, please. I'm on my knees begging. Uh, allows for more minor characters to get into the game as reward cards. Sure. Because, again, there's, like, how many freaking characters in the Tournament of Power? What is it, like, uh, 10 fighters per team? And there's just, like, a, a bajillion teams. There's so many characters in the Universe of Survival Saga. So there's still a lot of room for a lot of characters to be introduced. Um, yeah, and then, of course, Universe 11 characters are, are important since there is a Universe 11 category in the game now, right? Um, yeah, I, I do think a, a World Tournament revamp would be very smart for Dokkan to do, and building it somehow around the Turn of Power, that's probably the ideal way to go about it, don't you think? Like, I, I would think so. Like, just sort of completely change it, like, I, I don't know, maybe, what if there's, like, what if... It, okay, so it's a turn of power, and you just go, like, so you, you hit start, you enter into a stage, and then what if it literally just opponents just come at you until you either die or you just, like, retire for that? So, so like, it's just, you're, you're just fighting, like, nonstop, like, enemy, like, enemy teams or something like that? Because one thing I would say about the world tournament that's really annoying is the map. The map slows you down so much. It's so brutal. If you, like, were only doing the fights, and it's just like you're just sitting there doing the fights only, that could be a big, um, big help right there, for sure. Um, okay, so we got a lot of other characters here. Let's see what we got. So, yeah, I, I think Basil and Lavender do need cards. Um, the two Universe 6 Namekians also definitely need standalone cards, because that would help the Namekian category. And, I mean, they were fairly strong, right? Like, they definitely, I, I think, would deserve one, for sure. Um, give them their own standalone cards. Like, if if we would get, like, I don't know, uh, dude, I guess, like, it, I, Kefla is probably more likely for another Dokkan Fest than Hit, because Hit is just Hit, right? Whereas Kefla, you know, there's base Kefla, Super Saiyan Kefla, Super Saiyan 2 Kefla, um, plus we could do a, a fusing Kale and Khalifa into Kefla as well. 
Uh, if, like, both banner units were the two Universe 6 Namekians, I would think that would be pretty good. That would help out the, the Namekian team quite a bit, right? Um, and I do think a rival Universe team is something that could work in Dokkan as well. Steal that from Legends. Um, standalone Batamo and Mageta cards would be good, because, again, Universe 6 is a category. It needs love as well. Yeah, Super Khalifa. Yeah, she does sort of like the Super Vegeta, Super Trunks form. Definitely give uh, give her that. That would be good. Um, yeah, World... Okay, Awakenings for... Yeah, okay, okay. I like this idea a lot. Because we have a really good base Khalifa and base Kale. Uh, the the ones that uh, got Awakenings with uh, Kefla, right? By Awakening them into Super Saiyan versions, we don't have a really good version of Super Saiyan Khalifa and Super Saiyan Kale. So that's a good way to go about that. Okay, TNN Master Roshi. This ended up being uh, very good. Very well done by this guy. What was, who is this? Kuro? Yeah, Kuro88. Very well done, because this ended up being one of the six-year anniversary units right there. Um, Ribrian, Cocoon, and Rosie together could work as a prime battle LR, or even like a battlefield LR. That would have been, I think, a fine LR if the entire six-year anniversary was tournament power themed rather than universe seven reps themed. Um... Oh, Ultimate Gohan, awaken the SR twice, give him an easy or give us an entirely new Gohan. I do think Ultimate Gohan by himself, personally, I feel like could be an LR from the turn of power. I, you know, Gohan, was, again, like, was the team captain and shit like that. Like, Gohan did good in the turn of power. No doubt about that. Um, Piccolo needs a standalone unit. Duh. Yes, absolutely. There is a Piccolo in Reps of Universe 7, but it's from the Universe 6 versus Universe 7 tournament. Super Saiyan 1 Vegeta. Yeah, Vegeta was Super Saiyan quite a bit, um, so a Super Saiyan Vegeta would help out, um, as well as like a base Vegeta, base Goku, a lot of different stuff they could do. Yeah, the the Mana character, this is what pushes Kabe into Super Saiyan 2. A standalone Tien would be good, Kale Khalifa and Kabe would be good. Um, oh, yeah, okay, the Universe 9 Assassins, like exterminated by Golden Frieza. I don't know if they necessarily need a card or anything, but yeah, yeah mostly here as a joke, gotcha. Um... A blue Goku. We could use a blue Goku because currently the only like actual blue Goku we've got in here is the TUR for LRUI Goku, but that doesn't that doesn't really count. Uh, then of course we also do have blue Kaioken Goku, but again that's blue Kaioken, right? We need an actual standalone blue Goku that's like a, a banner unit or something like that, and not just like the TUR of an LR. Um, and then yeah, Super Saiyan three Goku would be cool, even though he only went it for a moment. That would be very very dope to have that happen. And this guy does make a good point that Frost is in full power for like a second, the same way that Goku was in Super Saiyan three for a second. But that full power Frost is actually a card, so um, I do agree that that could work, right? Uh, Super Saiyan three Goku. Plus again, just giving us more options for the team, definitely very good. Um, okay, so Topo Jiren and Dispo, yes. We could get a Topo Jiren and Dispo, and we could also get a uh, like a, a full-on Pride Troopers LR as well, which would be very important for Universe 11 again. Um, it could be an exchange unit with Topo and Dispo, exchange with, with the meditation stuff. Yeah, that would be very cool. Okay, again, Ultimate Gohan and Piccolo. We This was one we all wanted to see. Um, this is, you know again, one of the six-year anniversary cards, the banner card. A pretty good unit. Um, and then here we'd have Dokkan Fest. This is the last one? Yeah, this is it. So Dokkan Fest LRs for Vegeta and UI Goku. Of course, that is what the main 6th anniversary units were. Oh, no. This is a... Uh, oh, okay. So, yeah. Okay. I like this a lot. So we could get a Vegeta. Um, this is from episode, what, like 128, 129 or something like that. Uh, where, you know, Vegeta is full of, fully out of power and he's still just fighting Jiren. And then he finally gets knocked out. He gives key to Goku. That, dude. So the exchange animation would be Vegeta, like, falling from the ring, gives Goku the energy, and then, like, Goku could just go, like, straight into, like, UI sign or something. That, dude, that would be so <laughs> That would be so sick. And then, yeah, he could go into full-on uh, UI Goku. That would be sick. I, dude, this... This would be a really fun card. Like an exchange Vegeta slash Goku that would do that. Oh boy, would that be really, really cool. Let me know what you guys think of uh, a lot of these ideas. I mean, this, you know where this would actually help out a lot is Vegeta. Okay, if this is an exchange unit, so this would be Vegeta slash like Goku or something like that from the turn of power. This would be so good. For LR Evolution Blue Vegeta. Because this base Vegeta 
would still have, like, this guy would probably have all those Vegeta links. He might have, like, Prodigies, Royal Lineage, shit like that. Prepare for battle, turn up power, fierce battle, legendary power, all that type of stuff, right? But then once you would transform into UI, UI Goku links really well with Evolution Blue Vegeta as well. So this would be a unit. This is a great idea just in to give LR Evolution Blue Vegeta a good running partner, right? Because the thing about LR UI Goku, sort of like a huge unfair advantage he has over Vegeta, is the existence of this guy, who like is just perfect for LR UI Goku. And it's like, for Evolution Blue Vegeta, like, I guess you could use, like, this character. But it's like, you know, they have what? Godly Power, Turn Up Power, Fierce Battle, Legendary Power. They have these four. Um, I mean, that's that's good. But, like, it's it's just, we need even more than that. Like, ugh. Like, because, like, again, these two, like, they got Prepare for Battle, Turn Up Power, like, all these different attack links, key links. Like, they're doing so much together. Amazing two ways Vegeta, like, if Vegeta ha needs, like, a perfect sort of partner like that as well. And I do think this theorized unit right there could be a very, very good one. So, let me know what you guys think of this idea right here for a lot of uh, units for the Universe of Survival Saga. Again, after the 6th year anniversary, I presume we're going to move away from it for quite a while. But it is going to be very, very exciting uh, once we do start getting back into it. Because, obviously, the turn power... Like, for me... It's one of my favorite anime arcs of all time. Like, I don't care how people can deconstruct it all they want about all the flaws that it has. Of course it does. It's an, an anime. It's not perfect. But, like, I, the hype to me of, like, a lot of the big moments, I don't care. I loved it. I loved it. I loved it. And, like, just like that, the one producer of the show said, like, oh, it's really good to turn up power that they're all just, like, it's a battle royale because we could have Goku fighting in every single episode. You want to know who liked Goku fighting in every single episode? Me! That's who. Okay? So, yeah. I like the turn of power. I want them to keep doing units from the turn of power. I got no issue with that. Shout out to Kuro for all the ideas. Thanks, guys, for watching. And I'll catch y'all next time.